please stand and join us for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Bobcats. Well, I tell you, it's a nice, rainy, quiet day out there today in Bobcat land. Got a couple things real quick. Uh, big win, big win for the Bobcat football team this past Thursday. We uh, uh, annihilated, you might want to say, the Santa Fe Raiders. So congratulations goes out to the uh, Bobcat football team this Friday. This Friday, whether you know it or not, tickets go on sale. I assume that they're going to go on sale today. Uh, GoFan.co or whatever it is. Make sure that you get your tickets early because the game is the first playoff game for the Bobcats this season. The Bobcats are state ranked. State ranked. The, t the tickets are limited. You know, there's nothing we can do about it. So it's first come, first serve on the tickets, and they are limited. Okay? So come out and watch <laughs> the uh, state ranked Buholz Bobcats against Creekside in the first playoff game. Remember to mask up. Uh, I'm not masked this morning because I'm the only one in here this morning. So mask up and be sure to follow the traffic flow teachers. We've got quite a few kids coming back for the first time. Uh, if you would do me a favor and encourage the kids to follow the traffic patterns when they leave your classroom, you might want to emphasize to them one more time. Let's try to keep it as clean as we can. Keep your mask up. Uh, social distancing at lunch, you know, something to be desired. Uh, you, know, you know, you don't want to get sick. You know, make sure your friends stay, stay off to the side. You know, there's nothing wrong with keep moving around. Uh, social distancing, it's, uh, what is it, six feet for 15 minutes or less. You know, mental note, keep moving. Keep moving around and social distance at lunchtime. Tomorrow, teachers, we have our safety team check from Tallahassee coming on board. So make sure, as always, doors are locked. Doors are locked. If you see anything on uh, doesn't look familiar to you, be, you know, don't be afraid to report it to the school resource officers or the administrators or a dean, and we'll take care of it as quickly as possible because the safety team will be here tomorrow. Keep your doors locked and your ears and your eyes open, and have a great week, Bobcats. Friday, Friday night, big win. Don't wait till Friday or you won't get in, okay? You will not get in, so make sure that you get your tickets early. Come out and watch the state-ranked Bobcats take on the Creekside whatever, Creekside whatever, uh, this Friday night. Go Bobcats. Good morning, Bobcats. Today is Monday, November 9th, 2020. I'm Hannah, and here's today's news. Happy Senior Week, Class of 2021. There is no school on Wednesday this week in honor of Veterans Day. And report cards will be available in Skyward on Thursday, November 12th. Here is today's Veterans Day lesson presented by our ROTC. Many believe that veterans aren't anyone close to them. But interestingly, some of the staff at this school, which we may see every day, once served in the military. Colonel Roberts and Chief Phelps are easily recognizable as they head the JROTC program. They can be seen walking around the campus in uniform. However, there are more than just the JROTC teachers. The following Behold staff members are also veterans. Mr. Kalis was in the United States Navy. Nurse Brown, who was in the U.S. Coast Guard. This is Nurse Brown. She's a veteran of the Coast Guard. What would you say is your most memorable moment in the Coast Guard? Probably do, serving in Operation Iraqi Freedom. In 2006, I was deployed to Kuwait for a year, and that was probably the most memorable of my time in the Coast Guard. Thanks. On behalf of all the students of Buell's High School, I'd like to give you this Veterans Day pop. Oh, thank you. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Ms. Shaw, who was in the U.S. Army Reserves. This is Ms. Shaw. She's a veteran of the Army Reserves. What was your most memorable moment in the Army? I think that moment where you swear in and you all stand together and say the pledge right before you are finally inducted into the, your branch. And um, it's, it's saying the pledge suddenly has a different significance. So that was my most memorable moment. Awesome. Well, so on behalf of all the students here at Buholtz, I'm going to present you with a red poppy. And thank you for your service. Thank you, sir. Mr. Walters, 
who is in the U.S. Army. This is Mr. Walters. He's a uh, veteran of the Army. Uh, what was your favorite Army moment? Favorite Army moment was uh, training in, with helicopters. That's awesome. All right. On behalf of students of Yolts, I present you this Veterans Day pop. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Miss White, who is in the U.S. Air Force. This is Miss White. She's a veteran of the Air Force. What would be your most memorable experience in the Air Force? Um, well, we had to take off our gas mask and recite, um, what was it? The creed and what did we do? Pledge of Allegiance? No, it was a pledge, yeah. We all had to stay at the same time perfectly, and we couldn't leave until they said we could leave. Awesome. On behalf of all Behold students, we want to recognize you with your red poppy flower. Thank you for your service. Thank you. And finally, Mr. Tinbeg, who is in the U.S. Army. This is Mr. Tinbeg, and he's a veteran of the Army. What would we say was your most memorable experience in the Army? Well, Jacob, I was in the Army right out of high school. I've got seven brothers and sisters, and the Army was an opportunity for me to uh, uh, grow. Uh, didn't have a whole lot in our family except what I loved, didn't have a lot of money and I uh, decided to go in the Army, and the Army was an opportunity for me to uh, expand my boundaries in the sense that uh, it paid for my high school, it paid for my college, uh, my BA degree, and my master's degree through the GI Bill. So as far as what was my most memorable experience in the Army, basic training. I love basic training. I uh, uh, went in with a good attitude and just uh, smile on my face and did what I was supposed to do and just watch the other people fall off the tracks. And uh, <laughs> uh, I grew up a lot in the Army and enjoyed every minute of it. Awesome. Well, on behalf of all the students at Buholz High School, we want to present you with this Veterans Day poppy. And we want to thank you for your service. I appreciate it, buddy. And uh, I can't say enough good. The Army did more for me than what I did for the Army. And I was very fortunate to be a part of it. Awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Every person shown here and all other veterans deserve our thanks for their service to our country. Please remember, student government will sell the traditional Veterans Day poppies to raise money for a local charity, Service Dogs for Patriots, during both lunches. Service Dogs for Patriots gives service dogs to veterans who are suffering from PTSD. Please stop by the table in the front office and purchase a poppy and help support this worthy cause. Hagen Scholarship is a need-based merit scholarship that will offset the financial burden of college and ensure affordability for all. If you are a high-achieving, goal-driven student in need of financial assistance to attend college, then apply for this exciting scholarship opportunity and get funds for your college education. Application deadline is November 15th. Total award could be as much as $48,000. For additional information, visit their website at 2021 Hagen Need Based Merit Scholarship. Now here is Hayden with your news in clubs and sports. In sports, today the boys soccer team plays at Santa Fe at 7 p.m. Then on Tuesday, girls basketball travels to Columbia. On Thursday, girls soccer takes on Providence at Jonesville Park at 5 p.m. And on Friday, football takes on Creekside at Citizens Field at 7.30. And on the menu, Teriyaki chicken and rice, barbecue rib sandwich, and chef salad with ham and turkey breast. Well, that is all the today, Bobcats. Have a great Monday. Be seeing you.